Hi everyone. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our EV channel. Today we are going to learn some basics regarding electric vehicle safety and how to use an electric vehicle and what are the precautions to be followed in an electric vehicle. So first one is charge electric vehicle wisely or intelligently. Don't charge your electric vehicle when you are in hot. So when you are already traveled in an electric vehicle and you came to the home, don't charge the EV whenever it is in hot. And almost all it is recommendable, don't use fast charging, use only domestic charging. So what is domestic charging means? Charging at your home. So to prefer slow charging, where it is called domestic charging or charging at home, where it is called as a slow charging method. Okay, so this is the first point you have to see that don't charge your EV whenever it is hot, avoid fast charging and use only domestic charging. And coming to the next important point, which is second but second one. Okay, so second one is, is all about here. Charge your electric vehicle only up to 80%. Okay. So, charge your electric vehicle only up to 80%. Where this 80% is called state of charge. So, you have an battery. So, this electric vehicle you charge only up to 80% and don't charge this 20% Okay. You're only up to this level only, charging has to be available. When you charge only 80%, the battery can perform well and the way it will have more life of the battery. And third important point, how to use an electric vehicle is, third point is, charge your EV, sorry, charge EV in sunlight, okay? So don't charge your EV in sunlight. If you charge EV in sunlight, it will lead to cell degradation. Okay. So, what is the meaning of uh, cell degradation? Means uh, the life of battery decreases. Okay. So, it is designed for some life cycles that life may decrease. Uh, so, the battery life degrades. Okay. So, don't charge EV in sunlight. Okay. So, don't. Charge your EV in sunlight. This is the next important point you should remember. Next point to remember is park EV, how to park our electric vehicle only in shadow place. Okay. So identify or create one some sort of uh, small shadow or near the trees. So park your electric vehicles where you have a parking place where it has shadow. Okay. Next, how to safeguard your electric vehicle is use recommendations as a only echo mode. Okay. So this, if you use in echo mode, it reduces the energy consumption. It reduces the energy consumption. So generally this is a default mode if you use in this uh, echo mode. So generally all electric vehicle come with multiple modes of operation. One is echo mode, next one is sports mode and next one we have is hyper mode. Okay. So we have three modes of operation. So generally if we use in echo mode all the electronic or all the battery will run as per the standards and will consume only minimum energy consumption. But when you operate in this high performance mode, the battery has to work a lot and the battery is working for higher capacity, the temperature increases, which may create a thermal runaway. Okay. So whenever the heat increases or the temperature increases, it undergoes a thermal runaway where there is a chance of an explosion. But there are some safety devices to handle it, but generally it is recommendable to drive only 
the cobalt. So this will not happen generally. Why? Because we have some electric vehicle BMS to handle this uh, thermal runaway problem. So it is recommendable to use your electric vehicle only on echo mode if you're traveling for longer distance. Now coming to the next mode. So in the electric vehicle, while you are using in summer, okay. So reduce the usage of electric vehicle in summer. The two don't turn on AC. Okay. So don't turn on AC in an electric vehicle such a way that the usage of AC has to be reduced in summer where we can have better life. Okay. So and if you want to use you can use for continuously two to three hours but it's not recommendable to use uh, turning on the AC in a hot summer to reduce the use of AC in summer in an electric vehicle. Okay, next one. So I don't recommend it in summer why? because in summer only we require uh, AC. So try to reduce the usage of AC and operate it to temperature of uh, 27 degrees where the problem doesn't come. Okay, just is like uh, um, use air conditioner usage in AC. Okay, and check the health of battery. Okay, so you have to check the health of battery. So test your battery terminals. For example, you may have primary battery and you may have secondary battery. So secondary battery, this will be generally of a lead acid battery. So on this lead acid battery, you are going to have one positive terminal and negative terminal. So you are connecting wires. So these terminals may undergo corrosion. So it's nothing but uh, these terminals react with wave and it undergoes corrosion. When it undergoes corrosion, uh, so it not have a proper contact. So we have to clean with hot water. So clean these terminals by turning off the engine, clean with hot water and apply some grease or Vaseline where you can have protection from the external water. Okay. So this is how you have to check the health of a battery. Already to check the health of a battery, inside you have a uh, digital meter. What is the heat in the battery and what are the how many cycles it has been used. So regularly go to the service center. It's nothing but uh, checking the health of the battery. It's nothing but so within the given warranty period, you can go to the uh, service center and you can check the health of the battery of your own or by using some software which is there inside the vehicle. Okay, and check the tire pressure regularly. Okay, so to check the tire pressure regularly especially in summer okay in summer what happens is uh, the pressure decreases when the pressure decreases automatically tire undergoes a lot of uh, stress so you have to measure or you have to check the tire pressure regularly and if it is very low try to refill it and check your cooling system okay so you have an uh, ac which is a cooling system you have to check the coolant levels okay so check the coolant levels and check your cooling systems if you follow all these uh, basic uh, safety rules automatic electric vehicle will not blast okay and one more recommendation is uh, you plan your ev journey where you have the charging station for example you are traveling from x distance to y distance uh, in between you have charging stations in between so try to plan your journey where you have the availability of charging station and regularly monitor your battery levels okay so when you are regularly maintaining the monitoring the battery levels uh, then you can understand if it is 80 percent there's no issue if it is 20 uh, percentage uh, don't try to drive in a dangerous sports mode or uh, hyper mode just use only echo mode okay so know you were in a car range and capability so don't try to drive the electric vehicle with its uh, maximum speed of uh, 220 kilometers per hour just use only a co mode where you have full safety okay so there's one more recommendation next one is uh, to try to use the regenerative braking by using regenerative braking uh, the battery can be charged okay so our battery is getting charged uh, where you can charge our battery so these are all some electric vehicle safety tips or how to use an electric vehicle 
are ordered the precautions you have been to take. Okay, the first one let's try to have an cross check revision. So charge wisely. Don't charge your EV whenever it is in or avoid fast charging. Okay, and use only slow charging. This is called domestic charging. Charge EV only up to how much level? Eighty percentage. And so the electric vehicle cell life gets degraded. Yeah? So if you charge your EV in sunlight, okay, and try to park EV only in uh, shadow region if possible, and try to drive the electric vehicle only in eco mode yeah? rather than driving in sports mode or hyper mode. Yeah? So by running in eco mode, where you can reduce energy consumption and we can overcome the problem of uh, thermal runaway. But thermal runaway is taken care by internally and reduce the usage of uh, AC in the summer. Okay, so. In summer season, when you are running in the peak time, one to four p.m., so already the vehicle is too hot and the tires are too hot uh, and roads are also too hot. Uh, so try to reduce the usage of AC in summer in the peak time and reduce the usage of AC. Okay, so which will safeguard your electric vehicle and check the health of your battery using the digital meter provided in the electric vehicle and have regular maintenance. Okay, so regularly take to the service center as soon as when it completes uh, some given range of uh, 5000 kilometers or 10000 kilometers per periodic change okay and check the secondary battery so secondary battery may undergo corrosion clean with uh, hot water and apply grease which will have a good contact with the turbines okay so take the check the tire pressure regularly okay and Try to maintain the coolant levels in the electric vehicle. So, if you follow all these guidelines, which will help you to drive an electric vehicle safely, and there's no chance of explosion in an electric vehicle. Hope you understood how to use an electric vehicle. If you feel the content is useful to you, please give one like and share with your friends and subscribe if you are watching first time and share it with your friends to do more subscriptions okay so which will help us to do more videos uh, on electric vehicle to the public as well as the students of uh, electrical engineering uh, those who want to get job in electric vehicle domain so thank you for encouraging our channel for promoting yours uh, obediently from so we'll meet in next video what is meant by nmc battery and lfb battery which is very important and trending so thank you for watching we'll meet in uh, next video.